Hey folks, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and today we are going to drive across the Native American reservations that occupy the northeastern quarter of the state of Arizona. So stick around. Leaving Flagstaff and heading north on US-89, after crossing the eastern foothills of the San Francisco Peaks, you enter a broad, flat, barren desert before heading northeast on US-160, across the Navajo Nation and the Hopi Reservation. Approaching the Navajo town of Kianta, the road slips through high mesas and plateaus, but turn north for nine miles on Arizona 564, and you arrive at a little-known national monument hidden within the native reservations. So we're in Navajo National Monument, which is just west of Kianta, Arizona. It's a, you may remember this from episode, way back in episode two. Uh, I'll put a link up above here in case you haven't seen it. Uh, there are some wonderful cliff dwellings here that we're not gonna get to see this trip. Uh, this is kind of a stopover spot for us because it's about the northeastern quarter of Arizona is all Native American land. Uh, it's uh, the Hopi Reservation, it's Navajo Nation, and this is a spot where, because you can't camp on the Indian lands, this is a spot as you're traveling through, it breaks up the drive. It's wonderful free camping, there are two campgrounds here. Last time we camped in the Sunset Campground, which is open year round, that has paved pads. This time we decided we wanted to try the Canyon View Campground. We found the sites to be a little bit larger, we found a real nice pull through right here. Uh, stunning views of the canyon, uh, beautiful sunset. We're kind of on a ridge here. Uh, it was nice and quiet. And we arrived here at 5 p.m. on the Sunday of Labor Day weekend and had no problem at all getting a spot. It's only about half full. So this is a wonderful spot to stop off if you're trying to traverse northeastern Arizona.
Today is day two of our crossing of northeastern Arizona, beginning with a stop for gas in the Navajo town of Kianta, before continuing on to Four Corners, the only place in the U.S. where four states, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah, all come together. Four Corners is a Navajo tribal park, and it's important to remain respectful of their customs, no matter how improbable some of them are to violate. It's also a place for Patricia to score some more fry bread. After paying $5 per person to enter the park, the Four Corners Point is surrounded by native shops. The Navajo never miss an opportunity to make a dollar off a tourist, but I certainly don't begrudge them that opportunity. Folks line up to pose standing in four states simultaneously, yours truly included. Not only hot, but slippery too, right? So now that we have slipped into Colorado, both figuratively and quite literally, we're going to end this episode here. Make sure that you become one of our grand adventurers if you're not one yet already by hitting that subscribe button down in the corner because we're heading for the Durango area and the San Juan Mountains of southwestern Colorado and we'd love to have you come along with us for the ride. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Ring that notification bell for instant notification of each new episode of Grand Adventure. And as always, we'd love to receive your feedback and questions in the comments section down below this video. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.